welcome back to the channel. My name is Tom and today I'm taking a look at the Copley Place Mall in downtown Boston, Massachusetts. This mall is directly across the street from the Prudential Center Mall and is connected to the Prudential Center Mall by that sky bridge that we just walked over. This mall was built in 1983, 10 years before the Prudential Center Mall, and this would make it its 40th year. Now, while I definitely do not think this is a dead mall, I would have to argue that it's struggling, potentially dying. And the reason for that is there's barely anybody here. Uh, the most people we're going to see is right now as we're walking in. But as we get into the mall, I think you'll notice that there's barely anybody around, especially up on the second level. This video was filmed on a Tuesday at about noontime, roughly. So that could account for some of the low numbers of people here. But you have to remember, this is downtown Boston. So downtown Boston's gonna be busy pretty much all day. It's not like it's some mall out in the countryside somewhere. So again, the most people you're gonna see are right now. Once we get past this area, it's a ghost town. So let me know in the comments, what do you think? Is this a dead mall, a dying mall, or is it doing just fine? And as always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit the notification bell. Thanks. The first thing that I noticed about this mall was that the stores in here are pretty much the high end of the high end. We have Gucci here, Dior, and the names go on and on. It's just amazing. Every major luxury brand you can imagine is in this mall which honestly makes it a mall I would never shop at and as a result of all these high-end stores you have a lot of security guards like you just saw there to the left it's not the most security guards I've seen in a mall so far that still goes to the Westchester Mall in White Plains New York but I would say this is probably a close second for sheer number of security guards but it's totally understandable Straight ahead is Saks Fifth Avenue, and as I understand it, this was originally the Lowe's movie theater that opened in 1983, and then Lowe's was replaced by Barney's New York in 2006, then Barney's closed in 2019, and then that Saks moved in in 2020. There's a Jimmy Choo store straight across. St. Laurent. I don't know what that is, but it looks high end. Todd's never heard of it. And here we've got a Versace. Balenciaga. The only reason I've heard of that name is because of the scandal they had recently with their advertising. Never heard of it before. As you can probably tell, I don't, I don't do a lot of high-end clothing shopping. I'm more of a Sears guy, or I used to be a Sears guy. Guess I'm more of a Macy's guy now. And J.C. Penney. Here's the other anchor store, Neiman Marcus, Louis Vuitton. I mean, this is literally every luxury brand you can think of, or at least every one I can think of. Tag Hauer.
So now as we go up to the second floor, there's plenty of stores up here, but as you'll see, there's barely any people. And it's really the second floor that makes me question how well this mall can possibly be doing with this few number of people. Now, I don't know if any of you out there have seen the TV show The Last of Us on HBO, but recently they had an episode that took place in a mall that was supposed to be in Boston. As far as I know, there's only two major malls in Boston, and it's this place, Copley Place, and Prudential Center, which we were at last. Um, it didn't take place in either one of those, so that mall was clearly not in Boston. But I think of the two malls, this one looks the closest to the one they had in the show. You can kind of see a resemblance here, but it's clearly not the same place. Coming up on the left here used to be a 60 foot tall water fountain and waterfall that was made of granite and travertine marble. Sadly, they removed it in 2017 and I don't know, I think they made a huge mistake. That looked like an amazing fountain. Probably the best fountain I've ever seen in a mall. So another interesting fact about this mall, I think, is that it's actually built right on top of the Massachusetts Turnpike. So when you're driving on the Mass Pike going through the tunnels, you're actually going right underneath this mall, as well as a lot of other things you're going underneath, but this is one of them. So it's kind of weird to think, you know, down below us is a highway. I could be wrong, but it looks like there used to be stores here straight ahead that are closed. So if anybody knows what used to be in there, let me know in the comments. You may have noticed that there's more than two levels here. Um, obviously, the first two levels are the mall, and everything above this is part of the office buildings or the office towers. There's four of them, and this third level, from what I understand, is mainly a lobby, and there also seems to be a cafeteria up there. I couldn't check it out, though, because the escalator going up to the third level says office employees only. So I probably could have gotten up there, pretended I worked there, but I didn't want to risk it. And it was kind of weird, actually. You can't really see it in the video, but I could actually see everybody's individual computers up there on the fourth level and above. You could even see some of the screens, so if you had binoculars or a telescope, you could probably see what somebody's working on, which just seems kind of weird. But I would love to work in an office like that where I can look down into a mall. That would be pretty cool, I think. And these escalators on the left are the ones that go up to the office towers. And strangely, the escalators going up to the office towers are narrower than normal escalators. Just thought that was kind of interesting.
Now, if this were before 2017, right now we would be walking straight through the water fountain and waterfall. The glorious 60 foot water fountain. So now that you've seen the mall, what do you think of it? Again, do you think it's a dead mall, a dying mall, or is it doing just fine? Like I said, just because of the number of people here, I would argue it's on the border of dying, or at least struggling. But I could be wrong. Again, maybe it's a bad time of the day, but this is downtown Boston, so, you know, it's not New York, but Boston's pretty close when it comes to being busy, so. I don't know. I, I don't think it's doing that well. I, I can't imagine it is. Um, I think you need customers for them all to do well, and I just didn't see enough here for me to think that this mall's going to do very well for much longer. But, you know, maybe I'm wrong. There you have it. That's the Copley Place Mall in downtown Boston. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, hit the notification bell. It helps a lot. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Yeah.